Crystal with Southland Organics and today we're back in our coop and as you can see we finally got those birds we were talking about. We've done a lot of construction here since the last time y'all saw it. We've got our nest box in, we're working on getting our automatic watering systems in and as you can see behind me we're putting in some electrical but everything's coming along really nicely. Today I'm going to answer a couple of questions that might be helpful to y'all on our process as far as getting these little guys from their hatchery to our farm. Here at Southland, a couple of our products are specifically formulated for backyard flocks and we had the space, so why not? We've been thinking about it for a couple of years now and this summer we decided it was finally time to start our own flock. Surprisingly, finding backyard birds online is not difficult at all. Of course, there's always local feed store and tractor supply chick days, so you can always go buy them that way. But if you Google backyard birds for sale, there are hatcheries across the country that ship day old birds the day that they hatch and they come right to your door. So we were looking for a hatchery with a fairly good reputation, obviously. A couple of those, the bigger ones are Cackle Hatchery, um, McMurray Hatchery, which is the one that we chose, and Meyer Hatchery. All of those had some really good reviews. Um, it came down to where could we get the biggest variety of birds. We wanted some really cool breeds out here. Um, what birds were going to be the healthiest and get here the quickest. Um, Georgia has a lot of heat in the summer, so we were a little concerned about birds being shipped here, so we wanted that to happen as quickly as possible. A couple of things that made us choose Murray McMurray Hatchery specifically is a live chick arrival within 48 hours, so they certify their birds. will get to your door uh, 48 hours after they ship, so you choose your ship date based on availability there. They ship them out and send you an email to tell you your birds are on the way, and within 48 hours they arrive on your farm or on your front door. Um, and they also certify if any of your birds are lost, they'll replace them as long as it's within 48 hours of arriving at your home. So we did lose a couple of chicks in transit. It was very, very hot the day that they shipped, a record-breaking 104, 106 degrees that day. Um, so a couple of them didn't fare very well, but they, the people at Murray McMurray Hatchery were incredible in dealing with that and sent us new birds the next week. So our flock was complete just a week after the first set of birds came in. Um, also important to us was they offer a Polorum certificate and an NPIP certificate. So all of the birds that they have are from um, tested flocks that are AI free, Polorum free, typhoid free, um, and they certify that with a Polorum certificate which they send with your birds. Uh, we also really wanted mostly hens in our flock. We do have one rooster, he's a Rhode Island Red, um, but we did want to ensure that we got mostly hens when we ordered. So we ordered 17 birds, one of them is a Rhode Island Red rooster, and the others are all uh, sexed hens. And Murray McMurray Hatchery certifies that their sexing is up to 90% accurate, so we were really impressed with that number and really excited that we were most likely going to end up with all hens. We also really wanted some interesting breeds out here and we wanted those to vary as much as possible. Some of the other hatcheries do require you to order at least three of any breed or sex. So at that point, if we were wanting a small flock, we would have only uh, ended up with two or three breeds out here. Um, so we decided to go with Murray because they offer a rain rainbow layer assortment. So we got uh, 15 chicks, all sexed as layers, um, of different breeds that all lay somewhere from white eggs to brown eggs to colored eggs. Ordering from Murray McMurray was super easy. So we got online and kind of poked around their breeds and what they had to offer and what we were looking at. They are breaking down by availability. So well, we wanted birds in June. So we went in and said we would like our bird ship the week of, I think it was June 16th specifically. So we put in week of June 16th and it pulled up every variety of bird, every combination of bird that was available at that time. Um, like I said before, we did end up ordering a rainbow variety. So what happens is we put in that we wanted birds that were available that week and whatever uh, varieties they had hatched that week they sent to us. So then they'll tell you it's available the week of June 16th and it'll ship Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of that week. And they'll send you an email and let you know your birds are en route. So our chicks shipped on the Wednesday of the week that we chose. So we chose the week of June 16th. They shipped on June 18th. And then they arrived at the farm June 20th. So we got our rainbow variety because it was the most cost effective for us to get the variety of breeds we talked about before. So we were going through looking at ordering one of every individual breed that we were interested in. And that can get a little bit pricey. So we decided that we would give up that specificity of breed for getting that variety of birds that we wanted. So a little give and take there. Um, and then we did want different colored eggs just because 
we thought it'd be cool. Um, so that gave us that as well without having to pick out the specific breeds and pay those breed premiums and stuff like that. So it was really nice to be able to get that variety um, without having to work our way through all of the breeds. As soon as these guys got here, we put them under a heat lamp and gave them lots of water. Like I said, our first set of birds did ship in some of the hottest days we've experienced this summer so far. So they were a little heat exhausted and really lacking some water. Um, so we put them in their brooder immediately, gave them some water, and we gave them also our uh, Hen Helper Poultry Probiotic as well as uh, Catalyst Poultry Vitamin. Um, and those really seem to help perk them up. So we really appreciate having that on hand here on farm. If you want a little more detail on how we did that and made the decisions as far as spacing and waterers and heat and all of those things, we do have a video and blog on how to raise baby chicks. So check that out. I'm really excited to see what these little things grow up to look like. So we did order that variety and they don't tell you what comes in it. And baby chicks are kind of like baby humans. They kind of all look the same for a little while. So I'm kind of excited to see what they come out looking like. Some of them are already, all right, okay obviously showing some personality, but some of them already kind of have some neat little things about them. He's got a speckled beak, she's got a speckled beak, and this girl's almost all yellow feathered, so we're kind of interested to see what they come out looking like as they grow. Tweet, tweet.